Welcome to the Fall 2022 Severe Weather Outlook, and in today's forecast, I'll be going over where the best chance for severe weather will exist this fall across the United States. Now, before we get too far into this forecast, I do want to explain the scale to you and the colors and what they mean on the map. Beginning with the low potential, which is that yellow shaded region, it represents a 25% chance of seeing three or more marginal threat days. The orange region is a 50% chance of seeing three or more more marginal days or one severe weather outbreak and then the high risk which is the red shaded region represents a 75 percent chance of seeing three or more marginal threat days or a severe weather outbreak now, just a disclaimer, this forecast is giving you the chance that you might see some severe weather. It does not mean you will see severe weather by any means. And this forecast, is, for the most part, is based off of climatology and the lining your pattern that we're expecting this fall. Now, let's begin with the rest of September. Now, as you may know, it's been a very quiet month overall. We haven't seen really anything in terms of severe weather. At least it's been very minimal. And then we haven't seen any hurricanes. You know, typically during this time of the year, we're at the peak of hurricane season. We have not yet to see any hurricanes or even tropical storms really come anywhere near the United States. So it's been a very inactive season so far. Now that is likely going to continue over the next couple of weeks. But I do want to outline a couple of areas that may be areas of interest for severe weather going in closer to the later portions of this month. Beginning with the Ohio Valley and mid-Atlantic regions, there is an orange shaded region. That is your medium or moderate threat of maybe some severe weather. That basically represents maybe three or more marginal days at a 50% scale in this region. Now as of right now there's already been a couple so obviously one more would get to that threshold but as of right now we are definitely looking at an area that may have some severe weather action as we are seeing above average temperatures and along with above average rainfall in these areas over the last couple of weeks it may very well continue through the rest of this month with what i'm forecasting maybe another trough maybe bring a little bit of severe weather to that region at least isolated severe weather at the bare minimum back out to the west of there we have a large yellow area and the main area that i'm kind of focused on here would be going into potentially a couple of weeks from now there may be a trough that comes out of canada that could bring some severe weather to this region if not even maybe some flooding it's a low threat as of right now again it's pretty long term at this point but definitely another area to watch as of right now beyond that there's still a yellow shaded region that goes all the way back down into florida and it again extends all the way back up into portions of the midwest but overall this month seems to be fairly inactive in terms of severe weather again we're not expecting too much more in terms of severe weather if anything isolated to widely scattered events may occur through the rest of this month now, heading into October, there will likely be an increase of overall severe weather activity across a good portion of the United States. Now, why is that? Well, basically during the fall, and especially during October and November, and even sometimes December, that's basically our second severe weather season. It's almost like spring, but at a much lower level overall. So we are definitely going to see some severe weather going into October, whether we see a severe weather outbreak or two, or whether we just see a lot of isolated to widely scattered severe weather is to be determined, but we very well may see see some severe weather increases. Now, I have a few areas outlined that are definitely in a better chance of severe weather in comparison to some other areas. Now, as of right now, I'm forecasting that we have a better chance of severe weather in areas like southern Kansas through northern Texas, basically the southern plains going into October. This is an area that we saw last year with a moderate threat day, and we saw a couple of severe weather outbreaks, so it's definitely not out of the question. We could see a repeat of that in this region going into this year. Back out to the east of there, we have all the areas in the Dixie Valley area, as well as even into the southern ohio valley in that orange shaded region there may be some severe weather in this region that's again kind of to be determined i think the better chance of severe weather and even maybe a severe weather outbreak will likely be going into november or december for the dixie valley but as of right now this is a region that i would be monitoring pretty closely for maybe a little bit of severe weather going into next month and along with the east coast and mid-atlantic regions you can see that goes from the carolinas back through areas like delaware maryland there's a little low chance that we see some severe weather as well there it is obviously on the moderate or medium medium scale as of right now so a 50 percent chance of three or more moderate days but this is an area if we get any of these troughs that come out of canada and kind of sit up there we very well could maybe see some severe weather start to fire up across areas along the east coast but as of right now overall low chances across this region now heading into november i do think november will be our most active month for severe weather this year and that's due to a lot of factors but one of the bigger ones is that we've had a lot of heat this summer so a lot of our severe weather chances may get delayed up until potentially November or even early December. Now, as of right now, I am forecasting right now a moderate chance, basically a medium chance, a 50% 
possibility of seeing three or more mo marginal days across areas like Kansas all the way back down to North Texas. Now for last year and years prior, we have seen severe weather in this region quite frequently during the months of October and November. Again, it's our second severe weather season. We get some of these troughs that set up pretty nicely for that potential for severe weather back out to the west. So this definitely is an area to watch for very closely going into later this fall. Now back over into areas like the Dixie Valley, going from even Arkansas back through areas like Alabama, we are definitely seeing the potential. And at this point, I'm putting out a little high risk there because this is an area that frequently does see even outbreaks during this time of the year, going to November and even early December. We saw one, a big one last year during December 10th. It definitely is not out of the question that we could see one even potentially a little bit earlier than that in November or maybe even early December. Now there's also a little moderate threat outside of there that does go again from Arkansas back down into even the Carolinas. As of right now, this is an area again that may have to be monitored. And then outside of that, the yellow shaded region goes back down to Florida all the way back through Nebraska. Overall, the chances of severe weather will likely be higher during this time frame. Now, heading into December, I do think the overall severe weather will still be active, but not to the extent of November. As of right now, I'm forecasting a decent chance for a couple of severe weather events across areas like the Dixie Valley. Outside of there, there's low chances that would extend from the Carolinas back through areas like Texas. So overall, December likely to not be an overly active month either time around. Now, according to the Climate Prediction Center, it is currently forecasted that we're going to have an overall drier fall across the United States. That would include a lot of areas. Now, let's first begin with one area in common, which would be the Rocky Mountains and back into areas like Utah and Wyoming. This is an area that we're looking at for most likely a drier overall fall. That does not mean we're not going to see snow or even the snow that you typically see on those mountains, but it's basically going to mean that we're not going to see nearly as much precipitation on average as what is typically going to occur. Now, obviously things could change. We very well could see a chance that there actually is above average precipitation, but as of right now, it seems like we'll likely have below average pre precipitation across this region. Back into another little area that the Climate Prediction Center is outlined. That would include areas back down in the southern Midwest, basically in the mid-Mississippi Valley, is another area that we're looking at for probably a little bit of a below average season in terms of precipitation. Outside of there, there is a large area that's kind of in a small chance of being below average. That would go anywhere from basically Wisconsin, back down through Texas, and even as far west as Nevada. There's a couple of areas that may have above average precipitation. That would include areas back up in Washington State, and as well as back down in Florida, which Florida has already seen a lot of rain this month. So that will likely continue going to further their months. Now, heading into the temperature outlook that the Climate Prediction Center has, the entire United States, as of right now, for the most part, is forecasted to have above average temperatures. The only exclusion would basically be areas along the Canada border, back up in areas like northern Washington or even back into North Dakota. Those are the only areas that are kind of in a 50-50 for having an above or below average season. Otherwise, the best chance for an above average temperature season would be back into Colorado and as well as even back into New England, which we would have our best chances for some above average temperatures in those regions. Outside of there, a lot of hot weather is expected, unfortunately, for those that are looking for cold weather, it will likely come for a lot of areas. But again, overall, above average temperatures are forecasted across these regions. Make sure to like button down below. Make sure to subscribe if you've not already. 